يا شباب مرحبا Hello guys and girls Welcome to part 7 and the previous part we added a composable we added actually two composable functions one to lock the request um, where they are happening in which function and to get tasks to fetch tasks from our endpoint and of course to update the UI properly for that and yes now we are going to create our first component our first view component so we have here a readme file in i mean just go to components folder here's a readme i don't know why they put, put now readme files i don't know okay nice hello world okay blah 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 okay very nice very nice uh, okay remove both of them get rid of them delete anyway okay good so now we create a new file i will use the composition api as you can see navbar will be the name ah uh, yeah this is the structure okay now we have created the file but we have to create some more constant values so go to the constants folder app constants and let's define some more here but let me just copy paste them and i will explain what they're doing okay i have here some constant values one for the open task we will display of course uh, we will in the navbar we will have um, menu items open task close task all tasks then we will have home view when we click on the app logo just here when we click on the logo this will be home and this i mean and those we will use, of course, for the navigation, for the router, for task detail, for creating a task, for updates, we'll later use the router. And when we create a task, we always want to make sure it has at least uh, three characters inside of it. Uh, yeah, it, we will just check if the string has a length of three at least okay so 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 let's see what we are going to do yeah make sure it's set up for the composition api so we have the setup methods already in use in here let me just close everything and the language is of course typescript okay 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 let's start let's check in the display because the, our UI should um, adjust if we are on a desktop or on a mobile device use display this is as you can see we are, oh, damn it that uh, from Udify oh my god yes as you can see uh, this is from Udify we will check if if we are on a mobile device or if you are on a desktop device like a macbook for instance uh, now we need of course a value to to verify it's a mobile device so let's create a new constant const is mobile device and this will be uh, we will use the computed function from view computed and we'll use the arrow syntax in here okay 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 looks good and we will say display display mobile okay 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 this will be a computed function as you can see it will always run 
in the background and check. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. Then we need the links. So we link to the user when it clicks um, to open tasks, to close tasks, or to all tasks. Let's say here, I can do, uh, const links is an array of string. And now we say open tasks. As you can see, it will get imported. Now we say closed tasks. And we say all tasks. Okay, this will be our menu items, links to our menu items. And we need a drawer for the mobile device. You will see, if you don't know what a drawer is, I will show you the, if we are done, when we are done. Uh, const drawer. It's a side menu on mobile devices. Uh, and we will not display it if on desktop, of course. Okay, let's say give it to false. Um, da, 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 da. Let's rename it to is draw active. Okay, it's better naming convention. I like the is or are for billions. Now we have to also track the selected. Uh, link item like the selected menu item, open task, close task, or all task, selected link. Uh, and also, a reactive field. It will be empty at the beginning, of course. And we have to emit some things. Yes, uh, emit. And we have to define our emits. We will have multiple emits, so let's make an array here. This will be task minus type minus selected. And then, of course, if the logo got clicked in the navbar. Okay. Just let me just quickly stop here because emits is very, very important because you always use emits when you bubble up things, when you push data from child to parent, from child to parent, you always use emits in view. Just keep in mind this, this is why it's a very important concept in view. Uh, okay, let's create a new field. Okay, let's see. Const selected. Task type. We get where all we of course have to again uh, need another check if open or close task got selected. Task type string. Here we use our selected link, set the value to the task type. Okay, and we will emit, of course, and you will emit the task type selected. We will pass the data from the child to parent, like I explained before, and we use the select. Ah, sorry. And the task type was sent with it. And we'll say is draw active to false because we go, we will lo load again the, the screen. Okay. Okay. Now we will have a value for the clicked logo, logo clicked.
and we will of course emit if a logo got clicked and then the, this will be Uh, this will go also go to the parent and of course we'll also have if you saw my introduction video we will have also in the, na in the nav bar a button for creating a task so again a new const value create task and we will say We will of course push now so we will use the router and use the push function to basically when you use the push you have the router we are on the home screen so the create task screen get pushed on top of the uh, task screen um, so basically you can also navigate back when you click on the back button in the browser so um, you come to the page you were before so this is our task screen okay mm -hmm. so and where we are going is task create view and then just to avoid any errors we just say then blah 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 we don't have to do something here it's just a little bit to avoid any warnings and then we say is draw active again to false because we go to a screen so the side menu is not shown in the in the mobile view okay 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 this looks very promising very good so far and the next thing we are do, going to do is to add the template uh, HTML elements in here. So I will stop the video here and we will see each other in the next part, part 8. So, Masalam Ya Shabab.